Hello and welcome to Medha Care. Let us start today's session with this question. The atomic weight of two elements A and B are 40 U and 80 U respectively. If X gram of A contains Y atoms, how many atoms are present in 2X gram of B? So if you see in this case, we have X gram of A. So first we will calculate moles of A. Moles of A that will be x divided by 40 and similarly if we calculate moles of b that will be 2x divided by 80 that is exactly equal to x by 40 so as this a and b both contain same number of moles they should also contain same number of atoms if a contains y atoms then b will also contain same number of atoms so the answer will be c why let's see the second question if 900 joule per gram of heat is exchanged in boiling point of water then what is increase in entropy so see carefully the options here given per mole but the energy released it is given per gram so first we have to convert this one with per mole so delta H in this case will be 900 into 18 joule per mole. As you know, the molar mass of water is 18 gram. So in this case, the total delta H value will be this one. Now we have to calculate delta S. So delta S will be delta H divided by the boiling point. So in this case, delta H, we have 900 into 18 and boiling point of water that is 373 Kelvin. So that will be the answer. Joule per mole Kelvin. So if you see this answer, it will be 43.4 Joule Kelvin inverse and mole inverse. So the correct answer will be 1. So don't miss this point here. It is given in Joule per gram. So we have to convert that one to joule per mole. Okay. Let's see problem number three. A weak acid HA, it, the K value 10 to the power minus 5. And the concentration of the acid is also given. We have to find out the dissociation, percentage dissociation of the acid. To solve this question, we have to use this equation. Degree of dissociation alpha is root over k by c. Remember, this equation is only valid if we consider 1 minus alpha almost equal to 1. Okay. Now see, we will consider this one. Now here, we have k value 10 to the power minus 5 and the molarity, the 0.1 mole of the acid in 1 liter aqua solution. So that means it is 0 0.1. So we will get 10 to the power minus 4 or 10 to the power minus 2. So this is the alpha value. So percentage dissociation that is alpha into 100. Alpha is 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power 2. So that is 1%. So the correct answer will be 1%. Let's see problem number 4. So this question is based on Hesse's law. So we have to find out the heat of formation of C2H2. So if we write the write the reaction for formation of C2H2, so C2H2 gas, it is formed from carbon graphite and hydrogen gas. So as you can see, we have to take C2H2 on the right hand side but in this equation you can see C2H2 on the left hand side as you know for calculation of heat of formation we have to take one mole of the gas C2H2 so here you can see two moles are taken so that means you have to divide that one by two so delta is this delta is will be divided by two and it will be taken to the right hand side so there will be a negative charge so in the options you can see only 
x3 by 2 is present here so this this will be the correct answer but if you calculate this one you can see here in the equation carbon graphite you have to multiply the that one by 2 so here you have to multiply this carbon equation by 2 so that will be 2x1 and hydrogen it is 1 so you, have, you don't need to multiply so x2 and you have to reverse this reaction you have to reverse the third reaction as the c2h2 on the right hand side so in this case so then the delta h value will be negative and you have to also divide that one by 2 so the correct answer will be 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 by 2 so that will be the correct answer okay next is the last question this is also very interesting and important question consider the following redox reaction occurring in acidic medium the unknown standard reduction potential is to solve this problem you have to consider one thing that is delta g naught it is a state function that means delta g naught does not depend on the path so if we consider in the first step that is delta g naught 1 second step it is delta g naught 2 and third step it is delta g naught 3 so we can write delta g naught 3 that is equal to delta g naught 1 plus delta g naught 2 that is also additive property remember delta g also additive property so if you consider the oxidation states so here oxidation state is plus 5 here oxidation state plus 1 and here 0 now consider the n value n1 will be 4 n2 will be 1 and n3 here it will be 5 so del g we can write minus n3 f e not 3 minus n1 f e not 1 minus n2 f e not 2 or we can write e not 3 that we have to calculate that is n1 e not 1 plus n2 e not 2 divided by n3 all the values are given here so n1 that is 4 and e not 1 that is 1.5 plus n2 that is 1 and it is 1.6 divided by n3 n3 is 5 generally n3 is n1 plus n2 so that is equal to so e not 3 if you calculate that one that will be 1.52 volt so the correct answer will be 4 so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubts you can reach me to this number you can whatsapp your problem to me i will discuss that problem in the next video this is Mridul Ahmed signing off.